Welcome to the installation of the Wixel software on your new Dextrip device. First thing we're going to do is download the Wixel software from Stephen Black's GitHub repository. And download the zip and save it onto your desktop. Next thing we're going to do is extract that. I use WinRAR, but you can use WinZip and extract that to your desktop. And then you can get rid of uh, and delete the, uh, the zip file once you have it extracted. Next thing we're going to do is download the Wixel drivers and the software. And there's the link to it right there. And that'll take us to the site where we got the Wixel and with instructions on how to install the, the Windows drivers and the software. So we'll just save that to the desktop. And the next thing we're going to do is install that Wixel software. So we'll go into the uh, folder and click on setup.exe and just go ahead and hit next and next and next and once again and it'll install and then we're done next thing we're going to do is download the Wixel development bundle which is required to build the app. And from there we hit save and save it to the desktop. And once we've done that, we can install it. So double click on that, choose install, install again, and close. Keep installing, lots of pieces. And next, I agree, next, next and install. And hit next again, finish. And lastly, it'll be installing the Notepad++, which we need to edit the dextrip.c file that we downloaded from um, Stephen Black's GitHub. So that's done installing. Next thing we'll do is navigate to our extracted file. You go into apps and into dextrip and then to the dextrip.c file. Edit that with notepad that we just installed. And those four lines there, what we need to uh, modify for our own needs. So I'm just going to go ahead here and put in my transmitter ID. I have to use capital letters. USB enabled should be set at 1. Do close USB at 0 if you want to write to the Wixel again or 1 if you want to save battery life. And listen for my transmitter at 1. Hit save and you can exit out and exit again. So the next thing we want to do is create the Wixel app. So we'll uh, search in Windows 8 for command prompt and open that up. And we'll use the change directory command to point 
to that folder. So I'm just locating it here so I have my path and then I'll just use that as my guide when uh, doing the change directory command. and hit enter at the end. That changes the directory and now we use the make underscore all dot bat. Hit enter. And it's making our software for the Wixel. And we can exit out of that and you'll see that when we go back into apps into Dextrip we have a whole lot of files now and the Wixel app itself. Get X out of that. Now we're going to write that piece of software to the Wixel. So we'll use the Wixel configuration utility. We'll open that up. And next thing we want to do is to connect our Wixel using a mini USB connector. And once we do that, you'll see it on the left side there. If I click on it, I'll get that error. So I'll just cancel that and go to open and get my app that I just built. So browse to the desktop, back to our apps folder, Dextrip, and our software. And open that up. And now if we hit read, now I've already done this before so it just reads what I wrote last time. And in this case it has the software so now we can just go ahead and write that to the Wixel by hitting that button there. Just wait till it comes back up on the left. Now hit write to Wixel. The Wixel will flash the LEDs and then it'll just do a single green LED for a second or two and then you're done.